guys, welcome back. It has been a long time since actually we've spoken. I've been super busy. It's been a crazy time. I mean, aside from uni exams, uh, well, <laughs> going back to Italy to visit the fam. And as you probably can see, there was this little switch up on the look side. And I'm bald and I've got glasses, which is something I never thought I would actually have. But anyways, I don't know if many of you know, I've got a trip today and I'm heading off to Kowaki Island. That's the little secret that we've been keeping from you. And as you guys can see from the slight mess in the room, I am packing. Those are the guns that I'm gonna bring. I've got my new wetsuit over there, fins, sports tube, and a bunch of other things that we're gonna have to fix. But I am super pumped. It's gonna be four of us and I am way too excited. So hey guys, I'm gonna make this into a short series. I'm gonna do each day as one episode. Hopefully you guys like it and yeah. So you guys either in the water or probably, most probably at the airport. Yeah, most probably at the airport. Anyways, see ya. <laughs> Welcome back guys. As I said, I was probably gonna be back either in the car or in the airport and yeah, packing was great. That's a big understatement. <laughs> But aside from that, we finally managed to pack the car. I left one of my guns behind, which was the air-powered gun. And we have Jaden's uh, blue water gun, and you guys are probably gonna see a lot of that. It's a wooden inverted roller, which I'm super pumped to actually try it. And all the gear is right here. As you guys can see, there's some things in the loose. We haven't yet found some places for them, but I'm sure we will. But on top of that, it's gonna be a sick trip. So the flight's in, uh, yeah, two hours. Uh, <laughs> we should hopefully make it in time, but yeah, it's gonna be a sick time. I'm actually super pumped. It's It's been in the works for a super long time and I'm actually in shock that it's actually happening. But yeah, I'll see you guys at the airport. You. Guys, so we currently just got to the airport and we're just, you know, gearing up everything and making sure that everything is, is, is ready to go. Uh, Jaden did the online check-in. I, on the other hand, me being me, a very, very amazing person, I forgot. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to do the check-in at the airport and it's gonna be a very interesting um, conversation with the lady to actually make her understand why we have spear guns and there is a knife in my other bag and a drone. I'm pretty much bringing anything, everything that you shouldn't bring in the airport, but that's our life, right, Jaden? Yep. Your <laughs> there you <life>. go. <laughs> My life. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Yeah. Um, you guys are either gonna not see this video, or you guys are gonna see the Vanuatu video, if the, depending on how this right here is gonna go. Hopefully, they let me in. But yeah, <laughs> super pumped. I'm actually super excited. It's gonna be insane. Oh. Look, this is definitely not Vanuatu, I can tell you that. Um, it's Brisbane. So, you guys might be wondering what happened. Well, there's a really, 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 really easy answer to that. The flight got cancelled. My worst nightmare happened. The flight got cancelled. So, we got to the um, Brisbane airport yesterday after doing the town for Brisbane flight. And we met up with Mark. So Mark was in the queue already. We said hi, super awesome guy, amazing guy. Hopefully you guys will see this video and you guys are gonna meet Mark because he's really an awesome guy. And um, yeah, started talking. Then we got to the queue to actually put the things in. And the girl there at the front desk, she's like, hey guys, I'm sorry to inform you, but there has been a delay on the flight. Nothing too major, maybe a couple hours, but also the next flight, since it is the similar flight, it will also be pushed forward. So I'm like, okay, cool, that sounds good. Because at the end of the day, I mean, we had to wait six hours in uh, Portville, which is where we were going, our first layover. So we just said, I'd much, we'd much rather wait in Brisbane airport, which is a, probably a nicer airport than Portville. Not shaming, I'm probably just saying, I mean, we travel a lot. And <laughs> so we're like, hey, we'd much rather wait there, wait, wait here than Portville. So we were chilling, totally chilling. So we bought some alcohol, um, when, you know, eating and things like that. And then we made our, we made, we walked to the gate because we had no information. So we were like, is the plane still, um, like late? We got there and there was no delay as in like on the actual screen, it, it was still, it was gonna arrive at like 7.20, which we're like, oh, that's strange. I mean, it was already almost 7.20. So we're like, okay, cool. I guess then we're gonna see now. I asked the guy, 
and he's like, yeah, there's gonna be a delay, we don't know how long, but the plane's still stuck in Sydney. So, yeah. I asked him 30 minutes later, he's like, oh yeah, now nah, the plane's now in Portville, and yeah, there has been a mechanical issue with the plane, which confused us because he initially also said that there wasn't any mechanical issues. Then I'm like, okay, you know what? There's probably gonna be a big delay, so a couple of hours, maybe four hours, I'm gonna go nap because I am still jet lagged. So yeah, that's what we did. That's what I did. And you know, I was hoping to wake up to Jaden telling me, yo, we're boarding the flight. He wakes me up and he tells me, do you wanna know the bad news or the bad news? And I'm like, fucking go for it. And he initially tells me, oh yeah, now nah, we gotta leave the alcohol, so get your seat. And I'm like, okay, so are we flying? <laughs> so no. The flight, that's when the flight got cancelled and they sent us to a hotel. The room is alright. It's the Movito, I think. Yeah, that's what it's called. And yeah. So we are still waiting for further news. We're either going to leave today or tomorrow. The only thing that I'm hoping is that we can still rearrange the trip. So the days that we're missing, we can push them towards the end of the trip. So yeah. Let's hope for the best, guys. I mean, you guys will know as much as I know. So let's hope for the best. But I mean, the only thing that does keep me pushing and keep going is those beauties right there. I, we got this. We got this. Hi, Hopes. Welcome back, guys. So recently, regarding the last update that I gave, um, we're actually flying. Super excited. So the flight's gonna be today at eight. And then we're gonna reach Portville, and then we're gonna do Portville Sola, if I'm not wrong. And from Portville to Sola, we're gonna have a private plane. That's Brett has organized for us. So doing that, we will save, I think around, yeah, 12 hours, which is super, super cool. So I'm excited about that. And yeah, so that means tomorrow, we will get to Kawaki and we will spearfish. And I'm super excited. And I cannot wait to, I cannot wait. We've been watching spearfishing videos all day. It's just insane. I'm super excited and I really hope that you guys are gonna enjoy it too. Anyways, I'll keep you guys posted. I'll see you. I'll also introduce the guys as soon as we get to the end and introduce Brad and everyone. So yeah, anyways, enjoy. got the good call and we're about to get in the plane now uh, we just put all the gear aside and yeah we're about to enter I'll show you guys the plane that's the plane right there the yellow one that one that's gonna take us first to first to Santo and then Sola and then we're gonna have a boat ride to Kawaki which is gonna be really really nice I'm super pumped for it I cannot wait to get on the water judging by the logistics of the time we might get to the island around three 3.30, so probably get in the water by 4. So we're not gonna do any blue water today. I'm just gonna get my lungs acclimated and do some reef. Hopefully get some nice jobbies with the boys. I'll introduce you to them now since uh, they're all in decent conditions. And yeah, so this one's Mark right here on his phone. And this one's Jaden. He's always on TikTok, so just don't mind him. How are you, Jaden? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I'll keep you guys posted. I'll probably record some little things on the plane, but yeah. Awesome. 
So finally, welcome to the reef, guys. This is the first dive of the day, and after unpacking everything and getting geared up, we finally decided to swim out to the reef's edge and hopefully find some fish for dinner. Here, I'm diving right on the edge of the reef, so as you guys can see, the corals are meeting the sand, and that's usually the perfect ground for jobfish, moo, and usually in Australia, you also get spangled emperor. So, after looking around, I decided to put my face down on the sand, or in this case, in the corals, which is a perfect tactic for moo, because they do not see your eyes, and they're very skittish fish. So you guys will see that a lot of fish will come in as soon as you do that trick. So as soon as I put my face up again, I see a big school of midnight snappers and there's a big moo in the middle. Unfortunately, since this is the first time that I've been spearfishing in a very long time, and the first time that I've been spearfishing water this clear, I get blue water syndrome, so I totally stuffed up the shot. After missing the moo, the sound of the shot actually attracted a jobfish, so me and Jaden decided to take a dive, and since they usually come in a lot easier when you use a throw flasher, I didn't have one, but I had a knife with a very shiny blade, so what I decided to do is I threw the knife towards its direction, and I used that as a flasher. Instead of the jobfish coming in, unfortunately a shark came in, but it was quite funny because it looked like the shark was playing with it, and you guys can probably see it in the background of the video. But yeah, as soon as I got to the bottom, I was looking around, nothing unfortunately came in, except this nice Japanese sea bream, and since it was my first time ever seeing one, I decided to take a shot, and it actually was super tasty, and we had an amazing dinner that night. Shortly after I shot my brim, Jaden shot a nice parrotfish which was used for burley. Since we were still unsure whether the jobfish was ever going to come back in again since he was still swimming around sometimes, we decided to burley up the water and see what might come in. As soon as this happened, I dove to the bottom and I noticed a big red bass in the distance. He was acting skittish so I decided to slow down my movements and only look at him with the side of my mask. This was allowing me to not give him my full attention, which in return relaxed the fish and allowed him to come in for a bite of the fish chunks that were actually floating around. As soon as he came in frontally, I pushed off as you guys can see from the video and took a shot. I wanted to hunt this fish for the longest of time, and since in Australia it's banned to shoot because of Cigatera, I never got the chance. I was super happy to finally have been able to take this fish off the list. Welcome back guys, we just finished our first reef session. Uh, How was it? That was pretty good. Yeah, so he he hit a massive, massive footballer. I saw it, it was massive. But unfortunately, my gun did not go through it, which he was using at the time. And unfortunately, that's what happened. I instead, on the other hand, managed to land my first uh, red bass. Super cool, I've got the video. And it's, it's actually the way that he came in, as you probably guys saw, it was insane. Just, the way that he was super far, he turned away. Textbook. And then, yeah, 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 textbook, textbook, textbook spear fishing. So yeah, now we're gonna go have um, we're gonna go have uh, lunch, as That's you guys cool. can see. I am currently downloading all the videos. Get food after, and then we're gonna go spear doggies. Oh yeah, our session is gonna be fucking hard. It's gonna be insane, as you guys can see. I'm already getting ready with a doggy hat. Thank you, Palin Point, for that. I'll leave my discount link in the button below. Anyways, I'll see you guys. Whoa!